Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Biology in Easy Way. In this video, we will discuss an important topic of genetics that is cell cycle. The cell cycle in most cells consists of four coordinated processes cell growth, DNA replication, separation of duplicated chromosomes into two nuclei, and cell division. Phases of cell cycle Cell cycle is divided into two phases interphase and M phase or mitotic phase. Interphase is divided into three phases G1, S, and G2. Mitotic phase is divided into two phases karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is divided into four prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. M phase or mitotic phase. M phase consists of two stages karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Karyokinesis is the process of partition of cells nucleus into two daughter cells. Cytokinesis is the cytoplasmic division of a cell. Interphase The preparation for an upcoming mitosis occur during interphase. The initial phase of the cell cycle. Approximately 95% of the cell cycle is spent in interphase. At molecular level, interphase is the time during which both cell growth and biochemical activities like DNA replication occur in an orderly manner in preparation for cell division. This is the diagrammatic representation of cell cycle. This is G1 phase, this is S phase and this is G2 phase and this is the M phase and M phase is divided into four prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. G1 phase. G1 is the first stage of interphase. The G1 phase corresponds to the interval or gap between mitosis and initiation of S phase. During G1 phase, the cell is metabolically active but does not replicate its DNA. It involves transcription of three types of RNAs, rRNA, tRNA and mRNA. rRNA synthesis is indicated by the appearance of nucleolus in the interface nucleus. Proteins synthesized during G1 phase include regulatory proteins, enzyme, tibilins, and other mitotic apparatus proteins. At a point late in G1 phase, all cells follow either one of the two paths. They either withdraw from the cell cycle and enter a resting phase called G0 phase or they become committed to initiate DNA synthesis and thereby completing the cycle. Next, S phase or synthesis phase. S phase is the second phase of interphase. Histone proteins and their mRNAs are exclusively synthesized during S phase. In all cells, condensed heterochromatic regions of the chromosomes are replicated during S phase. Synthesis of new DNA occurs in this phase. Volume of nucleus and chromosome become double. Synthesis of centriol occurs during S phase. Next, G2 phase or gap 2 phase. The interval between the end of the DNA synthesis and the start of mitosis is G2 phase. G2 nuclei do possess some mechanisms that block reinitiation of DNA synthesis within the same cell cycle. During G2 phase, cell growth, RNA, and protein synthesis continue in preparation for mitosis. For a typical rapidly proliferating human cell with a total cycle time of 24 hours, the G1 phase might last about 11 hours, S phase about 8 hours, G2 phase about 4 hours and M phase about 1 hour. Thank you.